A force extension graph shows the extension of a spring for certain forces applied to it. So extension is presented on the y-axis in centimetres, and the force is plotted on the x-axis measured in newtons. And we can create these plots by hanging known weights from the spring and measuring the extension. We can then join these dots together with a smooth curve. Notice that the shape of the curve changes. You may need to plot these graphs or describe the kinds of experiments which are used to plot them in an exam. So how can we describe the curve for small extensions? Well, for small forces, the graph is linear. So for smaller forces, the graph is a straight line where y equals mx plus c. But when does this graph stop being straight? The limit of proportionality is the largest force for which the spring stops stretching linearly. So here we can see the limit of proportionality for this graph. In an exam, you may be asked to estimate a spring's limit of proportionality by looking at its force extension graph. After this point, the spring stretches more easily due to broken bonds, so there is more extension from less force. But the limit of proportionality varies depending on the material. For example, the limit is very small for elastic bands. So what else does the limit of proportionality tell us? Well, this is also the point after which the spring undergoes inelastic deformation. As the force is gradually removed, the extension of the spring changes. The spring is now permanently deformed as it still has some extension even when there's no force applied. So there is a permanent change in length. Some materials can still undergo some elastic deformation after the limit of proportionality, like elastic bands, but others break shortly after the limit, like glass, for example. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.